I hear really often that Redux is dead, we don't need it anymore, it is outdated, we have React with React context, and it's not needed at all. This is why in this video I want to clarify, do we really need Redux still, or we can get rid of it? So myth number one here, Redux is dead because we have React hooks. And actually this question is coming most often from beginner developers. React hooks is not an alternative to Redux, the best that we have there is useReducer. And yes, sure, useReducer is the idea to move reducers from Redux inside React itself. But it can't really be an alternative because useReducer is local state inside your component and not a global state as a Redux. Myth number two here, we don't need Redux because actually we can use useReducer hook plus React context. And yes, it is partially true. With useReducer we can write code similar to Redux and we can share this code between different components by using React context. Because it allows us to create a global object where we can access both dispatch method and our global state. But for some reason these people don't mention that we are using React context directly inside Redux, which actually means Redux is built on the top of React context, it is not an alternative. And the question is now why Redux was built if we have nice React context. And it is because React context is simply not enough. We have Redux to have a nice architecture, not just to have some global state where we can access our data. With React context we can share any data globally and we don't have any structure for them. With Redux we have a strict architecture how everything is working. We have a dispatch, we have actions, we know how we create asynchronous actions, we know that we have reducers and we know how we combine them in a single global state. With React context we don't have all these things, we simply can create some global object, we can create several of them, we don't know how we share data between them and how to structure them correctly. And in every project that you see you can do things differently by using React context. So Redux is not dead because it provides a nice architecture which is extremely important for teams. Because it is easier to jump inside team where they are using Redux and you know that the code will be similar to your previous project with Redux. And for example when you are using hooks, your code can be written in any way. Myth number three is related to Angular and NGRX. And if you don't know, NGRX is an implementation of Redux inside Angular inside additional library. And a lot of students are asking me, why do we need NGRX at all if we have services inside Angular? And actually I am getting this question much less inside React just because we don't have services there, which actually means inside React we don't have a place to share data between different components. But we have it inside Angular. This is why we have a question. Ok, we have by default inside Angular services, which is just a singleton with some data and some methods. This is why the question do we need Redux, do we need NGRX and how it all works together. And the answer here is exactly the same like it was previously. Redux and NGRX in particular is about architecture, it's not just about sharing the data. Yes, sure you can share your data with services, but the point is you will create some variables, some methods and nobody knows how you will share them. You don't have any architecture, this is just a singleton that you can share. When you use NGRX you get a lot of benefits. First of all underneath you have Redux architecture, secondly it is written in Angular way, so you have everywhere there RxJS streams and it is working nicely with Angular itself. And you have all things that you need like actions, effects to make some asynchronous code, you have reducers and selectors to select some data from your global state. So it's not about Redux versus service, it's about which code and architecture is stricter. Because with strict architecture it's easier to work with different people inside different teams. And actually if we are talking about Vue as a framework, it has exactly the same stuff as React. We have the Vuex which allow us as an additional library to have global state and make things in a Redux way. And from my perspective this is the best way to create Vue applications, because it is highly scalable and easy to support. 
So is Redux dead? For sure not, because you can see that often in all frontend vacancies and in all frameworks. You have in React, Redux, you have in GRX inside Angular, and you have UX in Vue. And actually a lot of big companies are still using Redux. This is why it is extremely important that you understand and learn Redux architecture, because you will use it in any framework. And actually I have a free series here on YouTube where you can learn Redux, so don't forget to check this video. Yeah.